click today, I'm going to introduce a new story to you. Okay, the title is Iggy Peck Architect. And the author of this story is Andrea Beatty. And the illustrator is David Roberts. Now, do you remember the author is the person that writes all the words and the illustrator is the person that does all the pictures. Okay, now if we have a look at this t the cover page, we can see a little boy here drawing a big tall building can't we and we can see another building here that's made out of different fruits so i can see some apples and i can see some bananas and i can see an apple core on the top so he must have eaten that one already and look i can see another person here standing here doesn't tell me who she is but i'm sure when we read the story we'll find out look i can even see his little little cat there giving him a hand. All right, let's have a look on the back cover. So on the back cover, we can find a little blurb. So that tells us a little thing, little few, a few little things about the story. So it says, young Iggy Peck is an architect and has been since he was two. When he built a great tower in only an hour, which with nothing but diapers and glue. Oh, I don't know if I'd build a tower out of diapers and glue. Look, but we can see some glue here. Look, there is another another building here. That's the Leaning Tower of Pisa. And look, with these blocks here, he's made the Eiffel Tower. Lots of interesting buildings. So, I thought we could have a quick look inside, okay? And it might tell us a little bit more about the story. Let's have a look at this page. And here we can see some water and some land, an island and the mainland. And what's happened here? Uh-oh, I think the bridge has fallen down. And look, there's the same person from the front page. That must be Iggy. And this person was on the front page too. Let's have a little read of this page. They crossed an old trestle to a small island nestled in the heart of a burbling stream, but they no sooner passed than the footbridge collapsed and Miss Lila Greer started to scream. We're trapped. We're trapped here, oh my, our last kids goodbye. Her eyeballs rolled back in her head. She dropped to the ground with a vague groaning sound, luckily fainted, not dead. All right, so this page tells us that this lady is Miss Lila Greer. So that's his teacher, isn't it? And look, if you look closely at his face, he doesn't look happy. I wonder why he's not happy. How do you think we could find out what happened to Iggy in the story? Do you think we need to read the story? I think we might too. So what do we need to do when we're getting ready to read a story? Okay, we need to do the five L's. Legs crossed, hands in lap. Lips closed, ears listening, and eyes looking. Okay, now remember, after we finish reading the story, I'm going to pop it over in the library so you can go back and have a look if you like after. Okay, guys, let's get ready to read. Okay.